I'm now gonna show you how to make pull tabs. So take a piece of cardstock, I've cut mine in half, and we're gonna fold it in half for the base page. Match the edges and the corners together and crease it really well. Now for a pull tab, it actually goes underneath the base page. So we're not gonna open it up like a pop-up. The mechanics are actually gonna go inside here. And then this is the backing piece to cover it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mark a slot on the base page about inch and a half wide and eighth of an inch tall. So our pull tab is gonna come through there. So take an X-Acto blade and you're gonna very carefully cut out the slot. Take another piece of cardstock, make sure that it is just under the height of your base page. This one's a little tall, so I'm gonna trim it down in a minute. But we also wanna make sure that this piece is a little smaller than the slot that, that we've just created. So what I'm gonna do is underneath the slot, I'm gonna put a second piece of cardstock underneath and line it up so that you can just barely see the edge of this piece. And I'm gonna mark where the slot is so then I have a good idea as to how wide the pull tab's gonna be. So I'm gonna make it a little smaller than what we just marked. So take a pair of scissors and cut right on that mark all the way to the top. Now mine was a little too tall, so I'm just gonna knock off about a quarter inch. So now we have what's gonna end up being the pull tab. So if we slip it underneath, we can see that that's gonna be the pull tab that's gonna pull down and it's gonna push back up. So for this one, I'm actually gonna make like a little mouth very much like a little puppet. So I'm gonna cut out a rectangle. And I'm gonna close it up again. I'm gonna mark on the back of your base page where that square is. And so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna fill it in outside of the lines with a pencil or a marker or a darker sheet of paper. So you can now see the opening. Now when I put my pull tab in there, you can see that it covers it. So it opens and closes, opens and closes. But it's really, it's wobbly right now. So when you have pull tabs, you're gonna have to anchor it down. And next I'm gonna show you how to secure the pull tab to the back of the card.